Today we will learn manufacturing account. This tutorial will have three parts. In the first part, we will figure out prime cost. In the second part, we will see cost of production. And in the last part, we will prepare income statement. First part of income statement, which is trading account. You see often question from manufacturing account in your exam. But many of you make mistake when you try to answer. So for your better understanding, we have taken a question as an example from IGCC accounting plus paper. We will see step by step how to answer manufacturing related question on your exam. So here is the format. We have here detail column. Here we have two dollar columns. Okay, we will write the value here. Okay, so before we start, let us have a look at the question. Hillary owns a manufacturing business. She has provided the following information. Here we see inventory, raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods. For the year ended 31st July 2023, here we have a list of balances. And at the end of the question, we have five additional informations. These are actually adjustments. We need to adjust this all here in this account, okay? To the relevant amounts here. Okay, so we will calculate today prime cost. So how to calculate prime cost? When your prime cost equal to cost of raw materials consumed plus factory overheads. Factory overheads means factory wages factory labor cost okay direct labor cost okay so here we need to calculate cost of raw material consumed how does it work how to calculate so cost of raw materials consumed equal to opening inventory of raw materials plus purchase of raw materials minus purchase returns of raw materials minus closing inventory of raw materials so what you understood here, all raw materials related item will be included, okay? So here on the question, we have opening inventory of raw materials. Inventory at 1st August 2022, it is raw materials, $9,100, work in progress. Then we have finished goods, okay? Finished goods related item, we will take in the income statement, okay? So here, we have opening inventory of raw materials so we will write this here so before that we need to write cost of raw materials consumed okay so let us write here cost of raw material consumed so here we are doing this account for the year ended 31st july 2023 this is the ending of the financial period. Great, so first of all, we have to write opening inventory. Let us write here, opening inventory of raw materials. So here we found $9,100. We will write in the outer column, okay? Good, then we have to write the purchase of raw materials. We have here on the question, so let us write here purchase of raw materials. So here on the question we see for the year ended 31st July 2023, we have here revenue. It will be taken in the income statement. And here our next item is purchases of raw materials $110,000. And then next item is Purchases returns of raw materials $2,200, okay? So purchase returns of raw materials, we need to subtract from the purchase of raw materials, okay? Don't forget. So first of all, we'll write purchases of raw material. It is here $110,000, okay? Now we will subtract purchase returns. So let us write here, less or minus. Purchase returns. So here on the question we see 
2200 dollars we will subtract this amount from here so we get here 107800 dollars okay this is our net purchase so point to be noted if we have carriage inwards of purchase of raw materials in this case you need to add to the purchase of raw materials okay don't forget so here we don't have so we don't need to write okay then what to do then we need to write the closing inventory of raw materials yeah so before that we have to add these two amounts $9,100 plus $107,800 so we get here $116,900 okay totals of these two amounts okay now we need to subtract closing inventory so let us write here minus all this closing inventory of raw materials so here on the question we have an adjustment number one inventory at 31st july 2023 it is the ending of the financial period so these all are our closing balances okay so here we see raw materials nine thousand nine hundred eighty dollars we have here working progress we have here finished course okay so raw materials we will write 9980 we will subtract this amount from here from this total okay so we will write here 9980 dollar so now if we minus this amount we will get our cost of raw materials consumed yeah so what is the answer here one hundred six thousand nine hundred twenty dollars okay this is the amount of cost of raw materials consumed okay now if we add our direct lever to this amount then we will get our prime cost right so here on the question we have wages of factory operatives it is ninety one thousand six hundred sixty five dollars then here we have wages of factory supervisors it is twenty nine thousand dollars then we have here wages of fact office supervisors it is twenty eight thousand dollars okay so here we have three amounts for wages so don't be confused only factory operatives means factory labels wages will be here okay in this account and wages for office supervisors okay this will be taken to the income statement and another one is factory supervisors wages this is factory overhead we will take this amount when we calculate cost of production okay so here now we will write factory operatives wages okay so let us write here direct wages So we will take only factory operatives. So the amount we got here on the question ninety one thousand six hundred sixty five dollars. Okay. So now if we add this amount, this wages to cost of raw material consumed, we will get our prime cost. Okay. So let us sum up these two amounts. So here we get 198,585 dollars okay this is our prime cost so let us write here prime cost so this is not complicated just you need to remember first of all you have to calculate cost of raw materials consumed then you need to add factory operatives wages to calculate prime cost so in the next tutorial we will see how to figure out cost of production